Hi guys, this is Kristen from Printable Cuttable Creatables. Today I'm going to show you how to work with score lines in SVG files in Cricut Design Space. When you buy an SVG file for a folded project like a box or a card, the file will come with either dashed score lines or solid score lines, or both. Which score lines you use will depend on the tools you have and your personal preference, but they are both pretty easy to work with. Today I'm working with my 4 inch flat ornament box SVG, which includes a version with dashed score lines and a version with solid score lines. I'll show you how to use them both. So here we are in Design Space on the canvas and we'll go ahead and upload the SVG file. Click Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and then find where you have the file saved on your computer. I'm going to start with the file with dashed score lines. You'll want to use this version if you don't have a scoring wheel or scoring stylus. Click Save and choose the design to insert it onto the canvas. By default, everything comes into the design space grouped together. So the first thing we need to do is right click and choose on group. Next, I'm just gonna grab these purple panels and drag them over to the side so they're not in our way. Now we can easily see the box shapes along with their matching score lines. Notice that these score lines are dashed. In the layers panel, we can see that everything is set to cut. In this case, that's exactly what we want. Since we're not using a scoring wheel or stylus, we'll be using the blade of our Cricut to cut along these dashed lines, creating a perforated edge that we can fold. Since we'll be cutting everything in this design, there's only one thing we need to do to make sure that everything cuts correctly. First, I'll show you what would happen if we skipped this step. If we just go ahead and click Make It, Cricut is going to separate everything onto different mats. So we have blue mats with just the box shapes, and then separate black mats with just the score lines. In order to keep the score lines and the box shapes together when we send it to cut, we first need to attach them. The easiest way to do that here is to click on the group name in the layers panel. Doing this will select both the score lines and the matching box shape at the same time. Now we can just right click on the group name and choose attach. We'll go ahead and repeat that step for each group that has score lines. Click on the group name, right click, and choose attach. Now when we click make it, we'll see that the score lines and the box shapes are kept together on a single mat. Now let's open up the solid score line version and I'll show you how to prepare that file to use with a scoring wheel or stylus. We'll insert the file into our canvas. Once again, everything will be grouped, so we'll right click to ungroup it. Then I'll move these panels over to the side so we can see our box shapes and our score lines more easily. Notice this time that the score lines are solid lines instead of dashed as in the previous version. We can also see them here in the layers panel. Once again, everything is set to cut. But this time we need to tell Design Space that we'll be using a scoring tool and that we want these lines to be scored instead of cut. So we need to select just the score lines. And if I hold shift as I click, I can select them all at once. Remember, just the score lines. Then we can go to the line type menu and change it from cut to score. Now in the layers panel, we can see that these layers have changed to say score. We can also see that the solid lines have turned to dashes. 
Now these aren't the same as the dashed score lines in the previous SVG file. These are more symbolic within Design Space, just to show you that your machine will be scoring these lines instead of cutting them. So now the final step, just like before, is to attach the score lines to the box shape so that everything cuts and scores with the correct placement. Just like last time, we're going to click on the group name and right click and choose attach. And we'll do that for each group. Click on the group name, right click and choose attach. And we'll make our way through each group until they're all attached. So now when we click make it, we can see that all the mats have been sorted for us and each box shape has the score lines in the correct place. Design Space also knows that it is first going to score and then cut. If you're using a scoring stylus, your machine will score and then cut in one step. If you're using a scoring wheel, your Cricut will pause after scoring and prompt you to swap out the wheel for a blade and then it will resume cutting. So that's it. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me using one of the links below this video.